the Diderot effect. What is it? Well, let me tell you what it is. <laughs> It is Mladen Mladenovic, aka Maki, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Diderot effect and how we can utilize that to our advantage when it comes to habit stacking. I will cover both of those topics and we'll get into today's video. The Diderot effect. What is it? Well, let me tell you what it is. Back in 1768, there was a French philosopher by the name of Dider Diderot. I like how he's got his first name in his last name. It sounds very familiar. Anyway, he was a French philosopher and in 1768, his daughter was about to get married. However, he could not afford uh, the wedding or her wedding in particular. So at that time, Catherine the Great, who was the Empress of Russia, had gotten contact with Didet and said to him, Didet, I'm a fan of your work. I love the fact that you helped contribute and create the encyclopedia. I would love to purchase that book. I would love to purchase your library of books and I want to employ you as a full-time librarian. And what Catherine the Great had mentioned was, once I finish with a book, you can come down, exchange the books that I have read, deliver the books that I haven't read, so on and so forth. Ditter has now basically gained new wealth. Now with this new wealth, he was able to afford his uh, daughter's wedding, but he decided to buy a new robe. It wasn't just any robe, he bought the Balenciaga of robes back in 1768, whatever that looked like and he had placed this robe in the middle of his house. And what he would noticed when he was looking at this robe was that it, everything else was out of place. Now, naturally, he decided to purchase new carpet, fix up the walls, get that new desk, redo the furniture. He has remodeled his whole house and now he is satisfied. This is what the Diderot effect is. And when we look at consumer products and goods, this is where marketing comes in. You should buy this, and while you buy this, you should buy these five other things that complement it. So essentially, the Diderot effect is when you spiral out of control when purchasing goods. Now, women do a fantastic job of this as well. Men too, but I'll get to that later. With women, you need to buy the heels. You buy the heels, you need the blouse. You need the blouse, you need the dress, you need the little cap, you need the little cap, you need the jewelry. You need the jewelry, you need, you need the glasses, you need the glasses, you need the eyelashes, eyebrows need lipstick, makeup, little bag, and men now. Men, we go to the auction, we buy ourselves a Nissan Pulsar GDIR. We buy it, we're wrapped, we're in love with it. The thing is as high as a four-wheel drive though. So we lower it and we get ourselves you know, King Springs or you know, maybe some coilovers, TM coilovers, and then we're like, it looks beautiful, but the wheels look ugly. So. We get the wheels, we get the wheels. It's lowered, goes nowhere. So we get the exhaust, we get the headers. Sounds all right, looks okay, but there's not enough power. So now what do we do? We upgrade the turbos, do the internals. We switch it to E85, we give it a nice tune and the thing rips, goes good, sounds good, looks good. Now we're satisfied. In both of these examples, the Diderot effect has taken place and that's what it is. When we buy that one thing, and we start to spiral out of control. So what is habit stacking and how does this connect to the Diderot effect? Well, if we look at habit stacking, basically what it is, is if I start packing my bag for work the night before, I'm gonna pack my bag, I'm gonna pack my food, I'm gonna pack my protein shake, and while I'm at it, I'll go pack my supplements for the day. And then while I'm doing this, I stack a few more habits on top. So now my evening routine to get ready for work consists of these three things. I will go inside, I will lay out my clothes for the next day. While I'm there, I will set up my digital, uh, sort of my alarm clock, you know, the, the physical one, set that up, set it up five to 10 minutes earlier than I would normally wake up, put it on the other side of the room. Once that is done, I'll go brush my teeth, do a bit of flossing, and right there, I've been able to pack my bag and then do another five to six things. In other words, spiraling out of control, using the Diderot effect. However, it is controlled spiraling out of control. Control, spiraling out of control. I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully you get the message. So what is it exactly that you could do to implement the Diderot effect and habit stacking into your routine? 
All it takes is for that one thing that you do on a regular basis and start attaching two to three things on top of that and you'll get the ball rolling. A quote that I want to leave you guys with, something that I basically had as part of my philosophy and mantra is from SJ Scott and it is, if a task will take you two minutes or less to do, deal with it immediately. So do the task right there and then if it takes less than two minutes to do because we can get backed up with so many things that that only take a few minutes of our time and we push it aside. If we face them head on, we'll get them all done. So thank you again kindly for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider liking, commenting something down below and subscribing as well. It will give you seven years of good luck, guaranteed. And if you guys are looking to build your own habit tracker, then I will leave a uh, little link on the side of the video right now also a video link in the description down below to build your own free customizable habit tracker it has tremendously impacted me in the most beneficial way possible it's something that we utilize for our clients as well they love it i love it and i'm sure you will love it too so if you want to learn how to build it for free click the link down below and until next time guys love peace and bless We're going to be covering the habit stacking. What? Who wrote this? I wrote it. Like an idiot. So, take two. <laughs> habit stacking. So, essentially what the Diderot effect is, is ace. What ace? Um, 